Hey, hey, Vlarmers. This is going to have to be part two. Chicken house build out of pallets. I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. Let's get to it. Come on, man. What is going on? Tearing up the wood is not helpful, buddy. What are you doing? Macaroni. What are you doing, big boy? What's going on, biggin? Come here. You can't do this. Good Lord. This is not toys. This is not toys, Mac. Give me that. You got something caught in your lip? Big goof. about Uh, a lot of footage got lost. Uh, I had memory card issues with this camera. I don't know what happened. But here's so far what we got. All right. This is this box. I'm going to have to hang on a minute. My chickens ain't old enough to lay eggs yet. So I'm just going to block that off and try to get them acclimated. Finish this off while they're living in it. I need to get the roof part. Uh, I think I'm going to use that corrugated plastic stuff on the inside uh, we've got the steel mesh uh, quarter by quarter so it won't fall through they can still walk on that I'm gonna put hay or straw or something I'm sorry about the wind I need to get one of those mics that has a little fuzz ball on it uh, but I don't have one right now <laughs> so anyway uh, but Anyways, it uh, it covers it. What we're going to do is this way we can, you know, all the uh, little chicken poo and whatever will fall down in it. There's the nesting boxes. And we're going to have the roosts. I haven't decided if I'm going to have them angle from, from, from here, from here, and then angle down that way. Or if I'm going to start them here. And then the door is here. And I'm going to put a slider, you know, to cover this so I can close it up at night. And, uh... That's pretty much it. There's the door. I'm not going to hinge the door. I'm just going to have it where, you know, I'll unblock it and just pull it all the way out. But basically just, you know, keep cutting off, cutting off the slats, nail them up, cut them off, nail them up, uh, unless they're long enough. These are all different sizes and whatever. Didn't quite cover the, as low as I wanted it to, but, but it'll be all right. The door just, it just comes off. Um, but we won't we won't need this really except for to clean it out you know or chase a chicken or whatever so we're just going to put it up here and then i'll just put blocks on this corner and on this corner to hold it shut so it should be all right and like i said we're just going to block off the uh the nests for now the nest boxes 
so so that they, they can't get in there or out of there while I finish up the next bo next box but they they probably have about another three or four weeks before they're old enough we need to hurry up and get this done because it rained again last night and uh, I can't have the chickens live, living in standing water I guess now would be a good time to show you the old coop uh, this was this became temporary we thought it was going to be more permanent it was not so this is just an old box trailer um, it was actually uh, a truck bed trailer and someone took the steel box and put on here and uh, when they did it uh, it's look at that ruined that whole bag brand new bag never even been opened brand new bag ruined so that's part of the reason that we had to move them out of here because this does the doors don't seal up properly they don't got rubber seals or nothing on them but um yeah so this is where we had the chickens for i don't know first two months of their lives two and a half three months about three months anyway and uh uh that used to be solid right there i cut it out um uh, i went to where my son works and we used a oxyacetylene torch just cut it out of there it's ugly cut but it works and then we were storing food and stuff like that down here on this bottom level and uh cut these um these windows out and put these hinges on here uh and then put mesh on them so that you know they get some air through there and uh then this is the front doors are pretty much the same the front and the back and then it had just this open area this open area right here is uh it's about four and a half long by four wide <clears throat> and uh i also cut this door put some hinges on it and uh you know it it did it it served its purpose um but but for 12 chickens felt like it was too much uh, or too small to be honest and, uh, that was the original chicken coop now I'm gonna take that box off the frame and uh, use the frame for something else and use the box for something else I'm gonna have to weld all those all those holes that I cut I'm gonna have to weld them all shut now for the next project that I'm gonna use them for. but it's a cool old box that's what we're doing there I'm so far behind my own butt. Come on, let's get caught up.